Good morning. Welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, December 1st, 2014. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to Caddx TV. It's looking as if the ruble, the Russian currency, is going to sustain a dramatic uh, decrease today in value. The price of oil being traded is apparently under $70 a barrel now. It's the main income source for the Russian economy. Meanwhile, last night in Hong Kong, student protesters reawakened. Several thousand of them uh, moved against the government headquarters attempting to surround it. They were beaten back by uh, police carrying batons and uh, shooting tear gas at them. The chief executive of Hong Kong has warned protesters not to return to the streets and not to mistake the uh, police restraint that they've been showing as a sign of weakness. He said to them if they come back tonight, they're going to be uh, meeting, being met with force. A student protester said that there were thousands of people breaking through the police barricades and occupying the main road outside the chief executive office. At that time, they faced a huge number of police attacks, including using batons to hit the protesters. Um, so this is uh, something that's still a case in progress. They're demanding free elections in the uh, Hong Kong area. There was a uh, severe hailstorm in Brisbane, Australia on our Thanksgiving Day on Thursday. And the Insurance Council of Australia says that estimated insurance losses in uh, the Brisbane storm have now reached about 201 million Australian dollars or 170 million U.S. As of now, some uh, 37,000 claims have been filed, uh, 10,800 have been filed for home and uh, contents and 28800 for motor vehicles only. The cost of Malaysian Airlines all-risk insurance policy has apparently tripled since the carrier handed losses of about $780 million to aviation insurers this year alone. Multiple sources have said that the premium is going to increase from $12 million to $36 million. Uh, this would place uh, the Malaysian Airlines policy comfortably amongst one of the top 20 biggest programs in the market by price. It's understood that Allianz still leads the program. Uh, the uh, panel is believed to be relatively stable. Willis is looking to reward the incumbent markets for promptly paying the claims that uh, Malaysian Airlines forwarded. Other people on the uh, account apparently are AIG, CV Star, Catlin, and ACE. The U.S. Geological Survey said that last night at about 11 p.m. there was a 4.7 earthquake near Sedona, Arizona. Indeed, an unusual place. It uh, was seven miles north of the city and near the Flagstaff area as well. No reports of any damage or injuries. The European Insurance and Occupational Pensions Authority, IOPA, has estimated that 24% of European insurers would fail to meet solvency capital ratio standards in an extended low-yield environment. Stress tests show that if interest rates remain cripplingly low in 8 to 11 years' time, almost a quarter of the 225 insurers in Europe uh, would fall below 100%. Right now, 14% of companies, representing 3% of total assets, have a solvency capital ratio below 100%. The baseline scenario, IOPA says, uh, indicates that the insurance sector is generally sufficiently capitalized in solvency two terms. AXA is acquiring Assure Africa, Nigeria's fourth largest insurer, for 198 million euros in cash as it looks to expand into the fast-growing African market. One person was killed and 53 are presumed drowned now in the sinking of a South Korean fishing trawler, the Oriang 501 in the Bering Sea. Uh, the Russian uh, authorities were searching for it, but uh, it does not expect to be found, actually, in this situation. It's very cold there. The German airline Lufthansa said it has canceled about half of its flights after its pilots went on strike in an ongoing dispute with the airline over retirement benefits. About 1,350 of its 2,800 scheduled flights have been canceled, mainly affecting uh, intra-European flights. The long-haul flights are going to be affected starting tomorrow does not extend to Austrian Airlines, Brussels Airlines, or German Wings, other subsidiaries. An explosion so large that it could be heard several miles away shook central Malmo, Sweden last night. Uh, some kind of explosive device was detonated at the entrance to the city courthouse. It went off at about uh, 11.30 p.m. Balconies had been blown away and glasses everywhere. 
This is according to an eyewitness. There's only been, fortunately, one minor injury. Um, witnesses saw two people place something near the entrance to the courthouse minutes before the explosion. The bomb squad was called in to make sure there were no other explosives in the area. This is the second time this year that the courthouse in Malmo has been rocked by an explosion. Another bomb went off right there in February. Police said, however, it's too early to talk about a relationship between the two explosions. Sweden is a pretty quiet place. I suspect there is a relationship. That's the news today. We'll be watching it. If there's anything breaking, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.